How's it going, everybody? That's right, we're here for week three of the ICL. This is your coach, trainer, caller, coach of the San Francisco Swampers. And this week we're facing off against the creator of the ICL, Garud Leafstorm, or King Leafstorm, here on Shogun. Uh, this battle, I'm using... A Swampert, Dragon, Talonflame, Clefable, Monactric, Going Mega, of course, and then Lipart. My opponent has Arcanine, Raikou, Absol, Mega, or Mega, Absol. I just got it reversed, but it's okay. It's still the same thing. And then Forces, Sock, and Slowking. So, based on this matchup, I should be able to win, but what you're going to to see in this battle, oh my god, this was a terrible match for me. Like, everything goes wrong. I didn't plan, or I didn't play the way I wanted to with the Pokemon that I had. I know what their roles were supposed to be in this battle, but I guess they didn't do it right. And there was a lot of hats to it as well. You know, let's see all the hats throughout this match. Alright, let's do this. So, um... Oh, well, first off, I need to just make it normal speed, and let's do this. Alright, so let's start with Mega, my next check. He does start with Raikou, and uh, I'm gonna go with the Mega Evolution, and let's go with the Volt Switch, but he's faster. I was like, okay, is he Scarfed? Uh, I thought at the time that he was Scarfed, but he's not Scarfed, so that's good to know. But, um, here I just go with the Volt Switch, going with the Garden, figuring that, okay, I can get my skull fast with Gurgen, but I get burned as a result. I really should have had a Lumberry on this Gurgen, but I don't, so I get burned, and that sucks because I, um, my Outrage and, to a lesser extent, my other move, like Fire Fang here, I'm not going to do that much damage. I had Fire Fang specifically for the Forages. But it's not going to work out because I got burned. I do paralyze the Fortress, but obviously that's not going to end up mattering because Fortress uh, is pretty slow in general. Glare is there for slowing things down like Arcanine and Absol. Or Sock even if he's choice scarf, but uh, nope, I just played it wrong with Gary again, this match, and, uh, I thought that the Fire Fang was too obvious of a move, so I went for Outrage as, as he goes for Stealthy Loss, and I'm just like, really? What just happened here? So, I've decided to go into Clefable, because, of course, the Stealthy Loss are up, I don't want any other Pokemon to get inflicted by the, you know, the Stealth Ox. And uh, here I, I was thinking, okay, does this Raikou have Hidden Power Grass? Because if I end up switching into my uh, Swampert on that move, then Swampert would not be very happy with me. Because that's four times weak to Swampert, the Hidden Power Grass. So here's Slowking, and this is where everything goes crazy. The Hats. I have a plus one Calm Mind, or plus two now, plus two Calm Mind. I was going to wish up and hopefully KO a few things with this Clefable, but he gets paralyzed twice in a row. Not to mention that, like, okay, yeah, the critical hit on that Slowking, so obviously this Slowking is especially defensive, but the point is, I get paralyzed three times out of like five times. If I didn't get paralyzed, this match would be a lot different. So I guess that's the half for you in this match, because without Clefable, I don't really have a chance of pretty much winning, because Clefable checks, let's see, he checks Absol, uh, Sock, and Arcanine a little bit there. It has a lot of options to hit there, but that's just, it, it was just so frustrating. I'm still frustrated by this, but um, now I'm really in a tough position here with my Mega Manetric. Uh We do go with a couple of Thunderbolts here. 
Uh, here he thought that I was going to switch out, but I didn't really have a reason to do that. And so I lose Mega Manetric. I'm only down to three Pokemon at this point. I only killed one Pokemon. And now he burns my Swampert. And that is pretty much the game. Because, like, I have Counterflame. Yeah, but Counterflame's versatility is cut short. Especially since, um, we have Raikou. I could go with a Fire Blitz with him. Uh, to hit the Raikou. But... We have Slowking there. He has a lot of options. Ah, man, this is so frustrating. And, like, this uh, Stall War with the Burn. Jeez. And then we have to deal with the Wild Charge. Because I know he probably has it on his Arcanine. So I was at a point where, okay, if I can lose stuff at a point where Wild Charge isn't super effective and then. Maybe sort stance up or maybe do some brave bird shenanigans here. I could probably get something going because obviously everything is going downhill. My opponent has the momentum here in this match. Uh, and right here, I was like, okay, I know you to go the morning sun. Now I can roost up and then hopefully I can take a move. But the wild charge. It says super effective, so gosh darn it, I should have roosted up again. But what was the point of that? I really don't know. So, you know, I'm on my uh, second to last Pokemon. I go with the Taunt, expecting the Will O Wisp or something weird. But he goes with a Flare Blitz, and then I just go for a foul play. Goes with another Flare Blitz, Dark and Line does, and I'm just. I'm just losing Pokemon left and right. It's not going my way this week. <sighs> so, yep. Here he switches out and goes into his Mega Avasol. I just go for an Earthquake and that actually does a lot more than I thought. Granted, Avasol is not that... Well, it's really frail. That's the thing. Uh, so he's going to go Mega and goes for the knockoff. Knock off my Assault Vest. I have the Assault Vest to handle things like... Slowking and Raikou and to a lesser extent, maybe Arcanine if it was special, but you no, know, not in this battle. But yeah, so we lose 5 0. Definitely not the match that I was uh, looking at here. I was hoping for like a 3 0 or 2 0 victory or something, but I mean, we make mistakes. And what do we do when you have mistakes? When we have mistakes, rather, we learn from them. and. We're going to learn from this battle moving forward to our week four opponent, whom I don't know who I'm facing yet, but I will hopefully prepare harder than ever to hopefully bring the best out of the San Francisco Swampers. We are one and two so far in the season. We'll bounce back and make it two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, seven, two, or six, two, seven, two, eight, two. Whatever we can do to make a nice record here. Alright, so that's the game. I hope you guys find this video entertaining. And uh, my DS is actually fixed. But it's uh, really weird. Like, not all the pieces are back together. Like, there's a few things going wrong, but it still works. Um, I'm going to probably get a Wi-Fi bell going if I can ever find one. And post it up and just say, you know, I'm back to Wi-Fi battling here on my channel. Because I haven't done a Wi-Fi battle in like forever. So, we'll see how everything goes there. I plan on getting another 3DS to do a system transfer with, with so I can get rid of the old DS that got broken. That's the plan here. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Awesome, and I hope you guys enjoy Pokemon 20. If you have not followed me on Twitter, I'm posting a lot more uh, content on Twitter. Just, you know, saying how awesome Pokemon is and just being interactive because that's the whole point of social media. Alright, that's it for now, guys. I've talked for way too long. This battle is, you know. Alright, well, that's it. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Have a great week, trainers.